hello everyone today we are going to add uh, this old lady character uh, for our dialogue system instead of the NPC character we had before mannequin so and also we are going to add facial animations to this uh, old lady character as well So, right, let's see how to do those things today. And this episode is sponsored by this generous patron. Thank you very much for your support. Okay, so I imported this uh, Meta Human character and this old lady character, and I'm going to use this instead of this uh, mannequin here. So, first let me go here and create a child blueprint character npc mh stands for meta human right now this is the meta human character and um, let me open this a play character as well just to check how it is Right, uh, just like this one. Uh, let me add the body, which is this part. Copy the skeletal mesh and. Uh, paste it okay so it has the legs now and now let me copy other components paste legs torso under the mesh Zero, zero. Okay, and then here I browse these parts on the face, right? Yeah. is the character uh, I think the same animation blueprint should work image and MVP can I copy this no right, select it here okay Oh, I have to assign the mask pose component. Just like here. Mesh. Wait. Right, this animation is a bit odd, 
but I don't have a good animation at the moment so I'm just gonna go ahead with this one and for the face here in the Patricia sorry uh, in the play character face and MVP let's assign the same oh, it's already signed great okay uh, now profile let me place that character instead of the mannequin here actually this character is much smaller compared to the mannequin what happened to here Oh, actually, hair is visible only in the close range. Okay, see. Hmm. And in the original Meta Human character, there is this loading component. Uh, so here, there are it has defined the number of loads and force load. So we have all the components mentioned here torso, body, everything so let me copy this component yes and so I think that will allow us to show here always yeah it worked okay and we have here The next part is instead of this character I'm gonna copy all the dialogues of this character that means this dialog tree copy and paste okay and also I have disabled the AI controller of this class Autopuses play disabled AI controller. Alright, it's just AI controller. So let me do the same for this character so that we can prevent it moving around. Instead of AI controller and PC, I'll assign the default AI controller which does not have any behavior. Okay, now here we haven't uh, assigned the response animations. Let me assign them to Patricia scene 1. Okay, I assigned all the animations. So, oh wait, I think I have only implemented this show facial animations in meta human third person character meta human i have to do the same thing for the npc character as well okay now let's see like the lips are moving oh I think uh, 
me check. Here, facial animation. PPI character. I'm not sure if I used it for the response animation. I have. Okay. Have used that. Uh, right. So to debug this, uh, let's print whatever the character's name that we are trying to call play facial animation. Oh, sorry. Here I'm only. I have only connected the player character. That is wrong. Uh, I should have used focus actor here. Yeah, that should be the problem. Now let's try. Okay, now both characters have facial animations. Great. Let me do one more thing. Let me use the same cam index for the NPC character as well, so we should be able to see it. see her closer. There is a problem in that animation. Okay. Great. So, yeah, we have animations for now both characters. And I'm gonna stop this episode right here. And thanks for watching. So as always, project files will be available for the download in Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.